So you've probably heard about the AI, and you've probably heard about the law. And by the looks of you, some of you may encounter the law even better than the other ones. But uh, at the end of this talk, I would like you, like me, to see law and AI as intertwined, and to see law as something necessary for the AI, similar to machine learning and neural networks. But do we really know what AI is? We hear about a DI from every possible direction. Trading stocks, AI gets the best deals ever. Uh, parking ticket, AI got, got you covered. Maybe chess or even any other game ever created. AI is probably better than you at this game or is currently being uh, or, or, or is, will be better at, uh, at this game in a short period of time. So, what is the AI? Do we really know what it is? And we live on, on this, in this world of intelligent things, in this world where, which every part of our reality is intelligent and the only component which is intelligent only seldom, intelligent when it feels like it, is ourselves. And how do, do we navigate in this intelligent world as we are not that intelligent and as we are imperfect? Well, don't get me wrong, we are capable of amazing, thing, amazing things. After all, we are the ones who created these smarter computers. And we have to finally ask ourselves, what is the AI? And actually, I knew what is the AI from the very beginning, uh, from when I was self-aware, from when I was about five or six, because I was a science fiction fan. I, I knew that artificial intelligence is, for example, C-3PO from Star Wars, a universal translator and at the same time a goofy android. And for, for, for other example, it can be left-hand commander data uh, from the Star Trek. Well, so for those of you who are too young to understand these references, well, you have a lot of good TV and uh, good of movies to watch. However, for those of you who just don't like science fiction, I have nothing to say. Uh, but what do we take? from this notion of data and C3PO and from, from this notion of artificial intelligence in science fiction. We see artificial intelligence as our equals, as somebody we can talk to, some, uh, some partner, and the only differentiation, uh, di differentiating thing, AI, from us is the material that the AI is built from. We are built from bands, bones, meat, and of course the AI is, uh, is built from wires, cables, metal. But in the science fiction world, we are not that different. Maybe robots have some issues with the emotions and maybe they are a little bit better in analytical thinking. However, we are similar. And moving to the real world. In the real world, when we talk about the AI, we don't talk about the real speaking robots which will uh, replace us. We talk about fridges who can uh, replace our eggs when we run out of them. And of course I'm exaggerating a bit because uh, we have, we, we have created very intelligent robots which will possibly in the future surpass us. Uh, for example, Sofia, which uh, recently, last year, had gained citizenship of Saudi Arabia. But how do we? But as you can see, the spectrum on which we see the AI, from the fridge, from the intelligent algorithms, to this self-aware conscious AI, 